Jack Morton continues to be on the case. What is the case at the moment? It's always good to be reminded of these things. Christina, bi guarding Billy in car six. Right, we're trying to find car five. Oh, our data on Boris just came in. He's a terrorist who has organized all of the other terrorists. Big multi-terrorist plan. Right, the mysterious car five. We're trying to get in there to get the chip. That's why we went over the top. We're in car four. We now have to work our way back to five. That's locked. And we came down from there. Which end of the train are we on right now? Of, of the car, I should say. All right, we're on, the, yeah, we're on the front side, so that door would lead to three. Okay. Just gotta get our bearings. That's right, we want to we wanna make use of this. We, we went over the top to get into car four. Now we need to go under the bottom. And Jack's so proud of himself for doing that. Look at him. Okay. We're on car five now. Actually, we just went, we walked back to car four. Well, it's good we unlocked that anyway. Car six, I should say. Well, we wanted to unlock the door. Uh, I think we probably want to stay on the first level for now until we can deactivate oh yeah lasers I do need to get the um, that's right I do need to get the, the headset back for this the goggles well that might be in car 6 don't know if there's a box up here but as far as what's up here not sure if we can do anything here right now Right, that thing's here. Woo 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 woo. Ow. I'm not sure how we do those how we do those robots without taking damage. Like I could have used the plastic explosive. You can also use the gun. Gunza. But our ammo is not not in a bad shape because we're about to get the machine gun. So that's all right. Guards are to check IDs of anyone who wishes to enter. Pierce Simon, item brought in for storage, nothing removed. Philip Mason with Ambassador Simon, nothing brought in or removed. Oh yeah, okay. So it's saying that uh, the ambassador brought something in to be stored in car five, which of course is the chip. Okay, that turns off the electric door, but we still do need to get the goggles. For the lasers.
Oh. I want to get to the other side. I guess he wasn't going to turn around. He just stands there like that, doesn't he? And you can't go across the top of this car. I don't think there's a... Oh yeah, that, that one's still locked, that's right. I don't think there's a box up there. I do have to get to the bathroom, which is on the other side of the car. Yeah, he just- he just stands there. He doesn't actually move. our goggles. Um, we will need the crossbow. I'm trying to think about where we get the grappling hook. We are going to need that. So let's free up a slot. Oh, not quite. Alright, well, we got the goggles. We can do the laser room anyway. Goggles on. There we go. Okay, the grappling hook was just sitting right here. Wonder who left that th wonder who left that there. Lasers off. Into the lightning room we go. And then he can say, Hey look at that. If only I had a rope or something. Or something we have. We won't let crossbowman sacrifice be in vain. We'll use this for you. For you. One last shot from the crossbow. He doesn't even attach it to anything. And then we're just up here immediately getting shot at by electricity. Okay, we made it. Take the chip. Oh. Oh no! Gas! It was protect- there was an additional thing protecting it? We got gassed! Uh, oh? Well, this is very different. Are we off the train? Could we po Are we allowed to get off the train? Damn it! What the hell do you want? 
just this. I will take good care of it from now on. What the hell is it? Well, now, if you survive all this, and if we ever meet again, I will tell you. But I'm afraid that's not the way it's going to happen. Boris! Wait! Oh no! How did they how did they capture Jack Morton? He wasn't able to overcome the gap. Oh, hey, we're playing as Christina. She's she is actually a playable character, I guess. She has handgun, first aid kit, and ammo. Any contact? Uh, no, nothing. Not, you should think there would be something new to say about this, but no. All right, Christina. We're I, what for one? We're playing as Christina. Two, we're not on the train. Don't move. What? We're actually in a non-train location. I didn't know it was possible. Let's have a look around. Don't want to go into another room before we make sure there was a... Make sure that we got everything. And a faded old pipe organ. It's been played. Nothing unusual here. I mean, yes, you'd, you'd think that an old pipe organ would have been played many times. Statue of the Virgin Mary. It's covered with dust! Someone hasn't been maintaining this church. Brave comrades, forget about religion for now. Bring judgment on this evil world. Now is the time to become gods. This church is our temporary holy land. It is an appropriate promised land for the new beginning. For now, forget your country and your race. To make a new world, to become gods. Borsigowski. Well, it's an ambitious speech. Very short, concise, to the point. Hey, how about we... Uh, hey, everyone, how about we become as gods? And everyone says that sounds good. That sounds good to me. I was tired of not being a god anyway. We're outside. Some people just leaving their ammo. In the grass. Very sloppy. Ah. Dog man. The switchboard's been replaced recently. I have not have been having good luck with the dogs. When, when this has come up. Wait, pick this up. Alright, it only took one shot. Christina's not playing with these dogs. Christina taking it to Dogman. The one opponent Jack Morton can never overcome. An old tombstone. An old tombstone. You know, when we beat the game and there was like a, a, a screen that said, you have not discovered the entire truth, I'm pretty sure it was showing one of these tombstones. I was wondering, what is that tombstone supposed to be? I guess, uh, I guess it's the church. Where the Knights of the Apocalypse, uh, I guess, I guess this is their base. But if this is their base and Boris is here, like, are we... Do we get back on the train after this? D would we need to? I gotta say, I'm kind of gobsmacked at this turn of events. 
This non-trained turn of events. We are getting a lot of ammo. I can only hope that when we're... I assume we're going to play Jack again at some point. I, I can only hope this ca this ammo will carry over at that point. An arrow, uh, a uh, ladder. Going into the basement. I want to look around a little bit before we do that. I guess this is locked. Okay, Jack. Okay, like actually a point in time when looking through the looking through this is useful. But it's locked. We're getting a bunch of stuff. Roger, over now. Freeze. Oh, hello. When Christina was in training to be an Olympic shooter, she of course learned about the dick shooting technique. It's, it's as deadly as it is simple. Freeze! Is he gonna come? No? He's just staying over there. Oh, someone sees me. I guess whoever is there, we're going to have to go to them. Got a whole bunch of plastic explosives. Yeah, and these are non-pushable boxes. All right. Glad we have so many of these. No items in them, I guess. A hanger? Room key. Let's take a look at that room key. Got like a fancy little emerald on it. This seems to be a church room key. Church room key, if I've ever seen one. This opens a room in a church, and that's that that much I know. We've been working on the train all morning. It's in good shape. I hope the boss appreciates our work. This afternoon we'll bring a small jet into the hangar. The boss says the folding wings are not in good condition. We'll get it fixed by the end of the, end of the day from Yashel Abed. Fixing a plane, you say? Oh, are we going to get back to the Blue Harvest by stealing this plane? I can only hope. Do we have to land the plane on the train? Because I feel that's what I want to do. I mean, what is a train if not a long, really narrow runway? You know? It's very narrow. But it's long. Well, we know where the room is, where Jack is. I do want to see what's upstairs first, though. Not sure if this sequence ends if we get Jack out of here.
There's no music in this section. Like, most of the game has had music. This, we're just... We got silence to, to ponder. The situation, I guess. Alright, I... Christina's loaded for bear. At this point. Hmm? Oh, a box. Yep, that is a box right there. I guess we'll hold on to this stuff. Actually, is this a communal box? No, no, it's not. It is not the same box as uh, we have been using. All right, let's get Jack out of here. You kind of wonder how many people... This does, this does not seem like a large church, and the Knights of the Apocalypse seem to have a whole bunch of dudes into it. How do they all fit in here? Are you all right? I'm fine. But we have to go after the train. We have no time to lose. I found a small airplane hidden in a hut behind the church. If we could use that. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're taking the plane. We are taking this plane. Oh, well, we're controlling Jack again. Our uh, controlling Christina did not last long. She has so much guns and ammo on her. Should I have, like, put those in the box? Oh, well, no, the box is not the same as the- as the train box. Was not- it didn't have the items in it. Hurry, Jack, or you won't make it back to the Blue Harvest. I mean, I assume that we know how to fly this. A small airplane. Should I take it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, landed on the plane. Oh, what? No, okay, well... <laughs> that was an, not an optimal landing, Jack. <laughs> you, could, you could have hurt someone doing that. <laughs> I guess we jumped off. Alright, we're back on the train. Jack here. I'm back on the Blue Harvest. Your friends were worried about you. Return to the infirmary and make sure it's secure. Roger, I'm heading for the infirmary now. Well, what a little, what a neat little side excursion we just had. That was completely unexpected. I would never have thought there was a bonus non-train level. And that we would play Christine. It didn't last long. And again, I am a bit concerned about whether or not we've lost all of that ammo that Christine is holding. I guess we'll find out as we go. Uh 
Oh yeah, that's this. Jack, I've reached the infirmary. Jack! Alright, well this is the same as it was, uh, last time, I believe. Billy will be gone. And, uh, we will be told, I believe, that the French ambassador has been captured by Boris? Are you all right? They broke in while I was in the infirmary. I couldn't do anything because I was outnumbered. It's all right. Forget about it. Where did they take the other two? Enough of this wasting time. The game of hide and seek you have been playing is about to end. I am keeping the baggage you were looking for. The necessary procedures to return it will be conducted in the tactics room in car 12. I shall be waiting for you. Do you think you could get to car 4? What? I'm coming to car 12 with you. No. There's not enough time. We'd better split up. If you can, go to the main computer room and run a search of the train's interior. Look for a place where they could be hiding the ambassador. I'll try to find it. Good. I'll check with you later. Oh, could, could you give me that machine gun ammo you're carrying? Could... Me, me, oh, okay. Oh, all right. I guess. Well, that cutscene was the same. So Boris doesn't say who he has. He just says the baggage you're looking for. And we're assuming the French ambassador is with him. But, uh, Boris thinks we have the French ambassador. Let's, uh, okay, let's switch discs. So... After getting back on the train, things have not changed. All right, bye, Christina. Oh, yeah. Assault rifle, yeah. Assault rifle magazine. Teasing us with, uh, for ammo for a gun that we won't have for a while. So now we're gonna have to make, make our way back to car 12 for our sh Right, forgot about that. Someone's waiting, someone's waiting because uh, they need to go, but hey, it's occupied. I'm sorry, it's occupied. We're gonna have our little showdown with Boris in car 12. Freeze. Oh good, that, he, he did drop some ammo. So it was an initial enemy, but it was an enemy that, that had ammo on him. How fortunate.
Oh, right. Someone's going to pop out of one of the boxes. Um, but we don't want to go upstairs because it, something I found when I was playing through it the first time is that the guy who pops out of a box here does have ammo on them. Oh, yeah, mines. We remember these. I wonder if that is the way you're supposed to deal with these. It doesn't it doesn't seem very elegant. Was not fast enough that time. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take the ladder because one of the. I think the door at the far side of the next car is broken. I think that's the broken one. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have to go up here because we have a friend on, our, on his way. That's right. That's right. It's none other than, uh, none, uh, none other than Fiery Fred Flamegood. With a name like that, you kind of you kind of have to have a fire theme, don't you? Please stop that, sir. It hurts a lot. All right, is his fight going to be any different? Well, the train, the other train is here, and that was part of the boss fight the first time. Let's see if this goes any differently. Take this. Well, it seems like the same so far. further away.
Cooper's taking a lot of shots. I do have ammo. But no way of knowing, I don't think, about how much health he has. We go. I don't know if there's a better or faster way of doing that, but um, like whenever he shoots or is about to shoot, the reticle vanishes, so you can't shoot him. So it's just you want him to move towards you because you can shoot him while he's running. Ammo is, you know, ammo could be better. Ammo could be better, but we're doing better than we did the first time played the game. So there's that at least. I f they did not change this boss fight. And I feel like this is a boss fight that certainly could have, could have stood to, to have some changes. I would say. Okay, it's not gonna let me just go down, like, jump down onto that and then go through the door, I guess. They could have- they could have given us some surprises in the- in- in Fiery Fred's boss fight. Things are going the same so far. <clears throat> Let's see, we're in 11. Car 11. Yeah, we're trying to get to 12. That's right. Again, it could have been flavored with some some backstory. Jack, I've heard all about you. You're the one that took down Crossbowman. Everyone's very impressed with you, Jack. But can you overcome my flamethrower? I know, you're probably wondering why someone would bring a flamethrower into combat. Well, it's a very interesting story, you understand. What's that? You weren't wondering? Jack, you know how to get into my head, don't you? Hold on. Hold on one second. Ah! Look at this smart man right here. The enemies, are, these are the, you know, these, these are the higher level enemies. They are versed in tactics. In the art of war. I noticed that he, he wasn't vanishing after he fell on the floor. And that's unusual. Oh, hey, we're in the kitchen. And I turned off the, uh, the freezer earlier on. So now everything's melted. Legs of lamb. Yummy. They killed the cook and dragged him in here, huh? Let's see. Oh yeah, there it is. When we defrost everything... There's handgun magazine. Like, I think just the one. But you know, it's something. Jack, the reason I use this flamethrower is because when I was a child, my mother told me never to touch the stove when it was on. It was too hot. It would burn me. And well, I guess, I guess in my mind, I just always saw that. The ability to touch the heat, to withstand it, to control it. 
to make it mine. I guess I always saw that as the ultimate mastery over life. So I decided I wouldn't use a gun. I wouldn't use a knife. No. I would use the flamethrower. I would master one of the basic elementals. That controls us, that benefits us. Where would humanity be, Jack, without the flame? Where would humanity be if Prometheus had not given us the gift of fire? And that's what I bring to you today, Jack. You can just call me the modern day Prometheus because I'm about to give you a lot of fire. There's no box in here. And of course, Jack defeats him. Jack! It's like one cruel joke, isn't it, Jack? I ignored the gun, ignored the bullet. Oh, yeah, our boss is waiting for you. In car 12. I thought maybe my, by mastering the flame, I could add some heat into the coldness of my life. Jack, I'm very emotionally distant from anyone who's ever tried to reach out to me. From anyone who ever needed me. I was always distant. You know how hard it is, Jack, to have a family those who love you, and you love them back, but you don't really know what love is. Because you feel cold inside. And you can't give that love to the people who need it. I thought maybe, just maybe, the flamethrower would add that heat. To my cold insides. But I was wrong, wasn't I, Jack? You showed me. You demonstrated my folly. He was... He was never on the outside. This backpack full of fuel. This gun who shoots flame. That's never what I needed. I just needed someone. Someone like me, Jack. Someone like you. We're going the wrong way, aren't we? Yeah, this is car 14. Boris is on car 12. Hey, we can go through this. Jack, if only I met you earlier in a different circumstance. Maybe we could have been friends. Maybe I would understand what was missing from my life and how that would never be fulfilled with a flamethrower. Jack, I can't give you my flamethrower. It blow- it blowed up when you killed me. But one thing I will give to you. I'll give to you the feeling of flaming passion within my soul that I'm feeling now for the first time. It feels... nice. saved. Oh, we can keep going back here? Henry Matisse, ballerina, Edgar Degas, two dancers, Gustav Cor- oh, this is a- oh, this is the artwork that's being transported on the train. Got a Monet, a Renoir, Picasso, Is this the artwork? Is this the artwork that we're talking about? Like, the artwork never really comes up. Oh, this is the bulletproof glass. Okay, so we can't actually get back to the helicopter. Oh, 
All right, so we actually can take a look around back here and see the tank. Can't do anything with it. That container is still on there. is 13 right right <clears throat> like we need to get up to 12 for our fight with Boris and if it, if that goes the same way as it did the first time <clears throat> Boris can dodge our bullets and he can throw grenades at us I believe he's upstairs. Locking us in. Or are we locked in with Boris? Or is Boris locked in here with us? Uh, oh, there's no cutscene? We're just skipping the... Yeah, I mean, there's Billy, but we're just skipping this cutscene. Boris is like, okay, you know the deal. You know what we're doing here. We don't need to go over it. All right, how did we do this? Like, I, th I when I killed him, he he died from his own, uh, from his own grenade. I shot him a few times there. I heard him I heard him get hurt a few times. Uh, but I'm out of ammo on that. I do have some plastic explosives. That's wasting some ammo. He can dive from his own grenade again. Oh, there he is. Okay. Well, we just had barely enough to do it. Barely enough. Are you all right? Ah, Lieutenant. Yeah, I guess so. Thanks to my bulletproof vest. It's got titanium plates in it. You really are a lucky devil. The Ambassador. What happened to him? We still don't know where he is. I think the Ambassador slipped through their fingers on his own. He must have something they really need. I thought Mason was with him. Yes, he was. For a while. Can you move? Ah, I think I'm immortal. Go and join Christina in the main computer room. Can you make it? I'll do my best. What about you? I'm going to try and rescue the Ambassador and his secretary. Well, keyword is try. Since we have so little ammo at this point. Okay, he dropped his, cig his cigarette case with the valuable clue. And 
And then there's this. Gotta go, gotta go back to the ambassador's office. Oh, and he dropped this. Okay, we get this back. Alright, so, so far, nothing's really changed. Because we got the chip back. Somewhere I haven't checked? I should look again. Sure. But uh, looking again is a bit of a problem. We have five bullets left. In total. We do not yet have the key. Oh, hold on. For the uh, assault rifle. Jack, are you okay? Boris is dead. Mason and Ambassador are missing. Billy's heading your way. I'm coming too. All right. So, should we go to car four? I mean, I guess we, I guess we might as well. Uh, yeah, we'll be going this way. We can try to go to car four. Uh, yeah, nothing in here. We've already been, we've already ransacked all of these bodies. And of course, we want to go to the VIP car to get disc one. Yellow. Car four, some noise from the guest room above. Wait, Christina. Why should Christina wait? She has all the ammo. She could just spray bullets everywhere. Yep, someone there. Is there a, a door that we can go into? Yeah. Yeah, this is the kitchen. <clears throat> Um, we're gonna have to go above, but we also want to go into the VIP car <clears throat> to get into the secret compartment. I don't think there are any new enemies here. Uh, no, never mind. Sure are. Alright, that's all of our ammo. Well, he dropped a first aid kit. At least there's health. But we're down to our fists. Let's equip the fists. <clears throat> nope, not that. You know, those, that's going to be great when we get that gun. It's just that, it's just that time is not now. I am expecting a terrible trip. Terrorists will attack the train. Philip's behavior. If we get to Paris safely, finally be rid of this secret. Catherine Jane, I'm sorry. I love you both. And the ambassador knew how dangerous this mission was. I don't think there was anything else. There's 
nothing else around in this room, I don't think. Picture, the ambassador and his family. Nice oil painting, nothing unusual here. So that part wasn't hard, but the harder part is going to be getting back to car, uh, car four. Let's climb the ladder. Get on the roof. And of course, we can't, we can't just run along the top of the roof to car four because of the missile launchers in the way. Isn't that just always the way? Can't jump over there. Oh, there was someone up here. Was there, there was like a... I thought I saw a guard in the distance. I guess they didn't see me. That's, that goes to car 10. Gotta go this way to get to car 8. new in this room? Hmm? Alright. Well, we got shot once, but good enough. Car 7. We're getting there. We're getting there. Six. Don't move. Well, I have, sir, please. What? I don't mean to keep turning around like that. Um, I do have those first aid kits at least. Oh, let's duck in here, get out of his line of sight. Is he running up the hallway? Is he cutting me off up here? I guess we'll find out. Don't move! I, whoop, uh, I didn't cut me off. There we go. Actually, let me go back there for one moment. I'm pretty sure in the last playthrough, 
at this point, there was a grenade that appears in the upper floor here. Let's just... Not keep, don't mean to keep doing that. I think my finger is brushing against L1. Let's see if we can get that grenade, go in and out with that before anyone else, anyone else comes. Grenade? No. Okay, may I guess it's not here yet. At some point, a grenade just appears in that room? I guess that is not now. All right, car five. We're getting there. Somehow. Right, car five, we know this one. Shouldn't be anyone here. R4. Uh, let's see, the computer room. Is that upstairs or down? Yeah, this is it. Are you not here? There was incompetence for the most of all. Oh yeah, there's like this weird part where like the general is saying that the commander is going to need to test. Like we're gonna have to testify in a military court against our commander because she's incompetent. That doesn't come up again either. Lost contact. Okay, it's car four, second floor. Okay. Like that general is standing next to the commander as this is as whenever we see the scene a scene with the commander he's standing there and he just talks to us at one point saying hey the commander's incompetent you're going to have to testify against her she's still in charge of the mission like she's still there when we see cutscenes of the command center does he just say that with with her standing right there uh lieutenant morton i just wanted you to know uh the commander is incompetent you will have to testify against her just, uh, you should know- you should know that. I have no confidence in her ability to command this mission. Well, we can box some things, I think. No need that for the moment. Or this for the moment, or this for the moment, or this for the moment. What I could use for the moment is some ammo, which Christine Christina has a lot of, I should mention. Just to repeat that. She's overflowing with ammo. Oh, hit, that's right, hit this thing, this thing here. Looking for Christina, come to car three with the chip now. And car key black. Out of curiosity, what if I go there without the chip? Does it just not let me do it? What? 
Which side of the car are we on here? Yeah, we're on, we're on the right side. No, we're not on the right side. Black? Are there dudes in here? I feel like there are. Yeah, there are. Ow. Oh, last first aid kit. Tease you so much with these assault rifle magazines. Oh, okay, that is the key for the assault rifle. Okay, it's not gonna let me do it. That answers that question. Jack Morton's just not going to walk in there without the chip. Very well. You know, I was thinking I might have to reload an earlier save in order to move Christina's ammo to the box in the church so Jack could get it, considering the ammo situation. But, I mean, if we're able to get back to the armory and get the... get the assault rifle, we might be able to keep going from... keep, uh, just keep going from here. So it was you. I see you finally figured it out, Jack. And I must give you credit for overcoming Boris, much to my surprise. I've known him since the time I infiltrated the embassy. Well, do you have the IC? Let Christina go first. Sure. Now put your gun and the IC on the floor. Kick the IC over here. Release Christina. Who do you think has the advantage right now? Don't move! Stand up! Stop where you are! <laughs> Ambassador! Are you alright? Did you get hit? No, no, I think it just grazed the helmet. I made a big mistake. I never thought my secretary Mason would do this. The ambassador is safe. 
but the object I retrieved in car five has fallen into the terrorist's hands, and... Christina will be all right. She's a very tough girl and can take care of herself. I hope so. She also has tons of guns and ammo on her right now, so don't worry about it. Oh, yes. Your daughter asked me to give you this. She told me it's a good luck charm. Lieutenant Morton, there's a chance we just might rescue Christina. Come with me. I do like the idea that Jack's gun during that cutscene was empty the whole time. Made a valiant attempt to try to fake it. But no, there was never any ammo in that gun. Oh, oh that's right. Made the same mistake the first time. I thought that was ammo on the floor. It was not. It's a scope. We never found out what the scope really does. You can connect it to the, um... To the assault rifle, but it never said what it did. Maybe it just increases the accuracy at a distance. But it never, it never states that outright. Yellow. Train security system, port of abnormality, someone tried to force the safe. All right, Mason's trying to get into the safe. Turns out the ambassador can get into the safe because we have the pendant. Good thing the daughter just decided to give it to Jack so he could give it to her dad. This would have turned out a lot different if that never happened. It's the little things in life that end up making big differences. This pendant you gave me is the key, Jack. It's what they were after. See the slots in the base of the statue? We'll put the two keys in at the same time. Verification of palm print. I'll explain everything later. When I show them this, I'm positive they will negotiate. Now, hurry and get Mason. All right. Take the disc. That's right. Still don't really understand the ending where it looks like where Jack holds it up in front of Christina. Why did he still have the disc? I mean, the only explanation I can think of was that they were stealing it themselves, because otherwise Jack would have given it back. And, you know, after all this, hey, maybe Jack and Christina deserve a little bit of money. Well, whoop, maybe that's enough for tonight of uh, Covert Ops, Nuclear Dawn, Scenario S. Um, made a good deal of progress in the game tonight. And if I can actually make it back to the armory, 
Because there's going to be dudes in the way. But if I can make it back there, I can get the assault rifle, and then the ammo problem will solve itself. Um, okay. S scenario S so far. A little bit of changes here and there. I was very surprised at um, getting off the train. Very surprised at playing as Christina. Uh, but that has been the big change. Crossbow man's fight was another change. This is like a smaller one. I assume there's got to be more, right? Uh, there's got to be different. There's got to be something different as we approach the end. Because what is the truth? There's some sort of truth that we don't know about that has yet to be uncovered. I don't know what it is, but we're we got to find out what the truth is. That's the whole reason that we're here. I guess uh, we'll continue on with Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn. As uh, right now, we're going to take our fake disc, give it to Mason. On the way, we're going to get that assault rifle and uh, continue on from there. We'll see, how any, we'll see if any of it changes at all. Who knows what might change? Anything could change. Anything could happen in, in Scenario S.